Hey guys, and welcome back to the second part of our Utah adventure. But just in case you guys missed part one, here's a quick recap. We did a lot of hiking, stayed at a really cool tiny A-frame, woke up on a different planet, and saw some really cool rock formations. We also relaxed in some hot springs, and then we wrapped the video up at the Bonneville Salt Flats. So, if you haven't already seen part one, make sure you go back and watch it. The link's up in the top right corner. But now, let's get back into the second part of these Utah adventures. So we drove back towards Hanksville for the Moon Overlook for our next stop. This place is about 31 minutes from Hanksville and has about 9 miles of off-road trail, which we have already gotten stuck. I had to get out and dig the mud away just to get us out. And of course, there's no cell phone service out here. So we just came up on where Google Maps is telling us to turn right on Coal Mine Road, which is 9131, little mile, mile post, and that is not the spot you want to go on. Drive a little bit further, there's a main road. I flew the drone to scout the area out. That one is soaked with water, so we would definitely get stuck, stuck on it. That's only if it's rain, though. Yeah, if it's dry, you probably can make it, but we're going to head up to the, the main road up here, which isn't that far. Here he is. He didn't make it back from his flight. It was too far for him, but he's still alive, so I'm happy that he made it to the main road. Oh, traffic's been really bad today. We, uh, we've been on this road for about an hour. Uh, we got stuck once. That was weird. There's no Starbucks. I don't know what we're going to do. We made it to the Moon Overlook. And it looks real cool. I like your dress. It's very fancy. You can drive right up to the edge here. That is pretty far down. So how is it down there? It's really scary. I'm all like in the sand when I need to. Yeah. It's real sketchy. At least it's not windy. Oh yeah, but it feels windy when you stand up. I'm sure there's like a little breeze. That's so cool though. Yeah, for the, sure. It's really cool. Well, the water like weighs that the erosion's going down. Having a dress on doesn't make it better. Yeah, you wanted to wear that though. I know, but then like, it keeps touching by my feet. All right. Leave no trace. We found two water bottles out here, so we're gonna take them out. The drone footage turned out awesome. The photos turned out awesome. This is a good day. Definitely hard to get out here though. Get out muddy, he is. I wouldn't do it if it's super windy either. Oh, standing out there? Because it's not super windy here, but when that piece hits. Yeah, and there's little moon crystals. I found a few of them. They're pretty cool. Afterwards, we swung over and checked out the Butte Factory, which is this really cool rock formation, kind of like a mountain with steep cliffs and really dramatic waves in the ground. Really cool. All right, so we're driving out to the fifth hot spring, and one of the, like, we start seeing cows, onesie, twosie, no big deal. And then we come around the corner, and there are, like, a ton of cows, and this uh, cowboy on his uh, on his horse is pushing him with dogs and um, his wife's in the trailer uh, the truck pulling the trailer and all the cows are just going it was really cool we pulled over and let them pass Courtney Courtney was really excited 
And there, yeah, there was like a newborn baby walking with them, like very cool. All right, so we just got to the Fifth Springs Hot Spring, parked the car. Courtney's not sure how far of a hike it is. It's either two or four miles round trip, but- No internet is out. The, no internet, yeah, internet's out. And this is the parking lot, and we are starting our hike. So let's go check it out. All right, so the trail is really well taken care of, very easy to hike on. There's this awesome little brook down on the right side of the trail, really different than the rest of the Utah that we've been seeing, which was desert and cliffs. Very cool. Definitely beautiful. And we look amazing in the fall, okay, a couple weeks from now. We gotta be getting close. There's a thunderstorm that's rolling in, and uh, it's probably gonna rain, which is fine, but real cool. We gotta be close. What did you find? Found this guy on the trail. I'm gonna move him off the trail. I've never seen one in real life. Only in science class, in the books. Really cool. It started raining and the thundering is getting more consistent. We're still not there. It just seems like it's a lot more than two miles. So unfortunately I can't find the video clips that I took while we were out here. It started pouring down rain and the thunder was insane which I got on my other camera, but all that footage is not saved on the hard drive and I have searched everywhere. But I was able to take a few clips with my iPhone and I still have that footage, so here you go. Is all right, we made it back down to the car. It poured. Um, my little cave got wet, my camera got wet, computer was in the bag. It got wet, but it still works. My camera's still working. Uh, the drone's still working, so all that's good, but um, one thing that happened as soon as it started raining It started doing a little mudslide so off the sides of the cliffs and stuff and it just turned the water brown from that blue um, So you can kind of see it here. We're in the parking lot now, but that was clear water when we got here and now it is murky brown, so if it's raining you won't get that really cool blue color that we got when we first got here, but Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.